On Dozro website, I have demonstrated four methods to let your website visitors share your Squarespace web pages. However, today I will show you how to add share buttons on Squarespace using Share This tool. Search Share This in Google and select the first link. On the Share This website either click this button or hover over Website Tools in the top navigation. From the drop-down, select the Share Buttons option. On the following page, click the Activate Now button. Among the two popular options, I prefer the Inline Share Buttons for their superior user experience over Sticky Share Buttons. Next, scroll down and click on the Customize Your Inline Share Buttons option. You can choose the Smart Share Buttons feature, which automatically adjusts the social channels based on your website visitors' locations. However, I opt for the manual selection. In the next section, top social platforms are pre selected. Simply click to deselect any that you don't want. You have plenty of options, so choose the social networks you wish to display on your website. Then, select the alignment and other preferences. I recommend choosing the None option under Labels, as it allows the buttons to occupy less space while still looking sleek. You can also adjust the slider under Corners to decide how rounded you want the buttons to be. Once you've finalized the appearance of your share buttons, click Next and create your account by entering your email address and selecting a password. After sign up, Share This will generate a unique code snippet for your buttons. Copy this code, as you'll need to integrate it into your Squarespace site. Access your Squarespace site and under Pages panel. Scroll down and select the Website Tools option. Then navigate to the Code Injection option. This option is not available in Personal Plans. Click on the last line and press Enter to create a new code line. Right-click and paste the code you copied from Share This. Finally, click the Save button. After adding the code to Squarespace site, head over to share this website. Scroll down and copy the placement code. Now open Squarespace website again. Navigate to Pages panel and open a blog post page. Click the plus symbol and select the code option from the menu. Select the default code and paste the placement code you had copied from share this site. Double click on the empty space. Share buttons are successfully added but not visible on the editing site. Save the changes. To view the live share buttons, open the same web page in a new browser tab. You can see that social media share buttons are visible on your site. You can test one of the share buttons to ensure the title and URL of your web page are correctly included in a new post on the selected social platform. If a website visitor selects this share button, around 60 social platforms options will be presented to the user for sharing. In addition to blog pages, you can add social media share buttons to other types of pages on your Squarespace site such as product pages or the home page. To add share buttons to home page, choose a section and select the Add Block button. From menu, select the Code option. You can change the position and size of the code block. Click the pencil symbol and paste the same placement code you had copied from the Share This website. Share buttons are added. For a better user experience, consider guiding users on how to use the share buttons. Save the changes. Now open the home page in live site to view the share buttons. Next, return to the share this website and select the continue to dashboard button. Here, you should add your domain name for better organization. 
especially if you have multiple domains. On the next page, click the Activate Code button. Since you have already added this code to your website, simply click the Activate button. You will receive a notification confirming that the code has been successfully activated. You can access apps directory and share this dashboard to copy the placement code again whenever needed. From the dashboard, you can also update the appearance and settings of the share buttons again. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, please like the video and subscribe to Dozro channel. Be sure to check out our other tutorials for additional options to add share buttons to your Squarespace site.